Buttercup here and welcome back to Starbase Wyoming. I hope you guys had an awesome week and you enjoyed St. Patrick's Day because today we are going to do something related to that. But first we are going to go with Rubix who is going to talk to us about you guessed it forensics so if you ever want to know if someone's telling the truth or not this might help you in the long run so let's go ahead and take a look at it hi everyone it's rubix again i'm going to talk to you about forensics so today we're going to focus on forensic psychology so did you know that your brain function has uh, more activity when you're lying than when you are telling the truth and uh, so neuroscientists they just dis they discover this because they're doing um, mris and other tests um, to address that you just have more activity and um, it takes more creativity to uh, tell a lie than it is to tell the truth. So uh, we're going to do an activity here. So um, you can get a volunteer. You're going to have them put their arms out like this, palms facing down, and you're going to come up with three phrases. Two will be the truth and one will, will be a lie. So you're going to have the volunteer uh, repeat each phrase that you say and then after each statement, you're gonna push down on the top of their hands. And you're gonna try and determine the resistance after each phrase. So after you um, do the two truths and the one lie, I want you to see if what the correlation is between the resistance of the two truths and one lie and see if your volunteer, um, which one is the actual lie. So this one's actually really fun. So you can try it on different family members, your friends, and uh, just do different statements to try and determine uh, which one is the lie. I think you guys will really enjoy this one. I'll see you next time. Bye. Well, I hope that helps you out, especially when someone is lying to you. And as you can see, it takes more to tell a lie than just to tell the truth. So at the end of the day, make good choices. Next, Plume is going to be doing a St. Patrick's Day activity, something with food coloring, something with roses. I hope you guys enjoy it. Hey everyone, happy St. Patrick's Day. Well, let's do a fun St. Patrick's Day science project. Are you ready? Let's get everything we need together right now. You'll need a white carnation or rose, green food coloring, a glass, water, and scissors. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to get our glass of water and we're going to take our green food coloring and put several drops of it into the water. Make sure you make the water nice and green. And then you're going to take your white rose or your white carnation and you're going to cut the end of it off at an angle. Then you're going to set your rose or your carnation down in the green water. I want you to go to bed tonight and wake up in the morning and go look at your white carnation or your white rose and tell me what you see. Have fun. Next we have Bump and he'll be talking about the latest in STEM. He is going to be talking about NASA's rover Perseverance. So if you guys have heard of it and you guys want to know more, stick around. Hi everyone, this is Bump at Bump's Place with Wyoming Starbase Academy STEM News in a Minute News Brief. Today's news is about NASA Mars 2020 rover Perseverance which launched July 30th, 2020 at 7.50 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. And it just landed this past month on February 18th, 2021 at 3.55 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What is Mars 2020 Perseverance rover doing up there on Mars? Well, of course, it's doing science. That's right, it's studying Mars habitability. It's seeking signs of past microbial life collecting and caching samples, and preparing for future human missions. But it's doing other things. That's right, we're going to be taking flight on another world. The Mars Helicopter Ingenuity is a technology demonstration to test powered flight on another world for the first time. It hits the ride to Mars on the Perseverance rover. Once the team finds a suitable helipad location, 
The rover will release Ingenuity to perform a series of test flights over a 30 Martian day experimental window beginning sometime this spring. For the first flight, the helicopter will take off a few feet from the ground, hover in the air for about 20 to 30 seconds, and land. That will be a major milestone, the very first powered flight in the extremely thin atmosphere of Mars. So, that's it from Bump's Place. This has been Wyoming Starbase Academy STEM News in a Minute. News Brief, until next time, see ya. Okay, guys, this is everything for this week. If you guys liked anything, let us know in the comments down below. Give us a like, and then tell us what was your favorite part. If you guys want to see more of one thing, let us know. And until next week, bye!